guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so thankful to all 11,000 of you. I'm beyond shocked and I'm so surprised. So I will be doing a giveaway to thank you all. I'll be giving away nine gifts. So stay until the end of this video to find out what I will be giving and how to enter. It's absolutely free and there are rules that I must say. This contest is not sponsored by YouTube. We are solely responsible for the contest and delivering the prize to the winner. So stay until the end of this video to find out how. Welcome back everyone. On this episode, I will take you to the world famous Terracotta Warriors in Xi'an. It was an eye-opening experience for me. I hope you will get to see it one day with your own eyes. Let me know in the comment section below if you ever go so I can help you plan. Finally! Terracotta Army in Xi'an, I'm finally coming! So excited! I don't know why I waited so long to come. They will give you this because it is for the, the VR lens. A few moments later. Okay, so I just confirmed it's only Mandarin available. It's chi only Chinese. But even if you don't speak the language, it's totally fine. You just look at the visuals because it's a virtual experience, right? You will see what the tomb looks like according to all the facts and history that's written down in all the books. So uh, this is the only two tombs in China that is still not opened, I should say. And probably in our lifetime, at least my lifetime, it's not going to be open. So they are telling you what it looks like down there. You know, for Mercury's and and like uh, what the insides are, it's definitely a must. And I do think that you should go in so that you have an idea of what the tomb is like. the security this ticket booth here for the cart that then you don't have to walk and it is five RMB one way this will save you about 10 minutes of walking it's just too hard going in I'm so happy guys I'm happy not because I'm going to a tomb it's because I've been wanting to come for a long time and it's considered the eighth wonder of the world yeah that's why I'm excited because this is in China it's my roots and I can finally show you guys the wonder of this country aside from the Great Wall. So because my Mandarin is not the best, far from good actually, so I have to get the English uh, audio guide. I do think guys if you come all the way over here already, it's no point to just come in and walk around by yourself without knowing more history about the place. Even though I do know a lot about this place already, I do think it's very important to get an audio guide to get more details about it. So it's 30 RMB and with a, I think 100 for deposit, so it's totally worth it. I can tell you a little bit about the Terracotta a warrior and how it was found and stuff of course you can find that online but anyway so this place was found by complete accident in 1974 by a farmer when he was digging a well and he found like pieces of pottery so it is about 2200 years old not only in chinese just like the egyptian we believe in afterlife i'm chinese right the emperor chun chi wang who is the one who also unified the country at that time, he was the first emperor of China. This is crazy. It's beyond crazy, to be honest. So if without him, there's no Tang Dynasty that most of you know about. We are now at the first pit of Terracotta Warrior. So anyway, he's the one who created the metric system. He created the, lang um, the language, like the written language, so that the whole country can use the same language. Uh, as a as a first emperor, he did many many things, and because of him, right now we're looking at this terracotta warriors. Only about three percent of this place has been excavated so far. It's crazy. There are still so many more that still hasn't been found or excavated because of the preservation work right now. No country or no one can guarantee that once they excavate it, uh, that they will be well kept. You know, as you know that they were all colors before when. Like even when they found them, they were they still had colors on them. But I think it only took them four minutes once they hit the air, then they became this color now. Then we went to pit number three, which was the military headquarter. A total of 68 terracotta warriors and one chariots were found in pit number three. So next to uh, pit number one, there is a, a souvenir shop that you can buy 
many things from bracelet to jade lots of jade actually and of course you can buy warrior home if you wish they're over here so something like this set including the horse is 1200 rmb so about 200 us dollars and because it's so hot like the staff are having watermelon trust me i would love to have one as well it's so hot uh, let me explain why i'm not going in the order of one two and three instead i'm going one three and two it is because our tradition in chinese tradition we don't walk backward in places like a tomb jail that's why we don't go in the order of one two three that is probably an interesting thing for you all to know right because in general you will go one two three but no we go in the order of one three two you will see 90 percent of the people are doing the exact same thing that the actual tomb is not here but it's part of a tomb because these are for his afterlife right so now we are going into number two which should be very interesting this whole area covers 56 kilometer it is the biggest burial sites on earth at the big it's really 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 big okay because only 2,000 of them have been excavated and there are still 6,000 more so if just imagine the scale you know it's pretty crazy and it is not a secret that he was obsessed with immortality he really wanted to live forever so he prepared everything that he could have thought of at that time 2200 years ago for him to use afterlife uh, army 8000 of them musicians horses dogs even and birds everything you can name of he made them and so that he could live happily after after in in the afterlife you know it is really really crazy Pit number two is located about 20 meters to the northeast of pit number one. Although not as grand as pit one, the Terracotta Warriors pit two is the most complete as it houses all types of Terracotta Warriors found so far, including cavalry, chariots, warriors, and archers. Pit number two is the most spectacular of the three pits compared to pit one. The combat formation in pit two are more complex and the units of armed forces are more complete. This is the high-ranking officer. I'm going to insert a picture that I took earlier because I just cannot get into the crowd right now. <laughs> so crowded. So proud. Wow. The horse in full display, the details. And you know what? That's the reason why they have these glasses. Because people feel like they cannot get any closer than they should. So they keep going closer and closer. The standing archer. There were 172 of them. Hey guys, so we are at pit number two. If you can see behind me. Now, it's been many, many, many years that I wanted to come to Xi'an to take a look at this with my own eyes. And may I just say, it's mind blowing to see even just at this 3% of what we're seeing right now. Imagine this place being fully excavated one day and it's beyond crazy. I mean, it's just like in Egypt, when I went to Alexandria, many tombs were still being discovered, like mummies and everything. But still, this is, I can totally see why this is the eighth wonder of the world. So I think that China is really worth it for you guys to visit. And you guys have to see this with your own eyes. Yes, a lot of things is going to bother you here, you know, like the people, because it's so crowded, but this always crowded no matter what when you go to the other seven wonders of the world it's still gonna be so crowded but uh just probably don't come in the summer because it's very hot if you can come in the winter it's probably better and i'm sure many more years later when you come there will be more yeah i'm so glad i finally came we are entering the exhibition hall great day let's see let's check it out i suppose there are many things to look at here world heritage Parchment Dial. We have entered the exhibition wall. So if you thought it was just army, I guess it's because everyone are always focusing on the armies. It's not true. It's not just the soldiers. 
More recent discovery included the terracotta acrobats and strongmen, and then another pit contained 15 terracotta musicians and 15 bronze waterbirds to entertain the empire in the afterlife. There were also a pit full of stone armors and several pits full of the horse skeletons. You can see some of these amazing objects in the exhibition here, which is where I am. It's uh, very close to the entrance, actually. If you're coming from the entrance, it's on your right side. Uh, let's look at these birds. Wow. Seriously, what was going on in his mind for him to think of all of this? I know there are many people like always accompanying him to give him ideas, but come on, this is crazy. This is crazy. It's a swan. It's a goose, and this is also a swan. Ah, it's their footstep. This is a sitting pottery figure with legs stretched out. Remember, guys, they were they're all like at least 1.8 meters tall, and none of them look the same. And a kneeling figure. This one is also sitting. Wow, this is very crazy. I got it! It's too hot. It's not just for pictures, trust me. I waited until now to get it. <sighs> so much better with the fan. Ice cream! Crazy. This show was actually really, really good. It was called An Army Reborn, based in Lintang, the hometown of the Terracotta Warriors. It features four acts with ten scenes. It reads together themes such as like newlyweds saying goodbye, the emotional weight of letters from home, a mother's worry for her child, and the sacrifices made on the battlefield. It was actually really touching that I teared a little bit. The performance aimed to deeply engage the audience, allowing us to truly feel the emotions tied to love for family and the country. To end the night, we were dropped off at the bell tower. It was so good to see the bell tower at night because the view was really, really nice. And I also get to see the drum tower. It was really, really magnificent. You guys must see it in person. How do you guys like Xi'an so far? On next week's episode, I'm going to take you to the city gates of Xi'an, one of the most well-kept fortifications in the world, and also an absolutely beautiful Lama temple, as well as the Shanxi Museum. See you guys next week! Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you again for watching! Alright, thank you for watching this video and staying until the end. I hope you didn't skip my whole video and the whole Terracotta Warriors episode because it is an amazing episode, I have to say. It's not because of me, it's because it's just really fascinating to, to see it in person. So anyway, about this giveaway, I'll be giving away 9 gifts and the contest is starting right now until September 30th. All the rules are below in the description box. So how do you enter? Very simple, you just have to comment on this video and hopefully you already subscribed to me and hopefully you will also like my IG page because I, I share a lot more on IG especially on stories post why I don't share much so that's all you gotta do you just have to comment below and I will pick the winner but all the details are actually in the description box and I will have to say again YouTube is not responsible or it's not liable for this giveaway contest um, I'm solely responsible for this and none of the gifts are over 500 US dollar value so you will not be paying any tax and all the shipping will be on me as well. So again, thank you so much for watching and right now I'm back in Hong Kong trying to film a Hong Kong series. Hopefully you guys will support and just wait and see. Thank you again. See you guys next week. <laughs>